Today we got our first look at Black Ops Cold War Zombies. The gameplay reveal trailer came out and it gave us a bunch of exciting and interesting stuff to look at here. The vibes of this zombies are insane. It looks so cool. There's a lot of different new features, a lot of stuff returning from past Treyarch Zombie games. I mean, it really is sick. Just look at these images. These are official images from the trailer. I mean, this first one here looks insane. The colors are so cool. The zombies look sick. This third one here, potentially some sort of Soviet new version of Brutus. The last one here, very cool as well. The zombies look cool. The colors are nice. I mean, it's such a cool trailer. So as we're talking about this, you're gonna be watching the trailer in the background and let me know down below your opinions on what you saw today. I wanna thank you guys again for supporting the channel, subscribing, leaving likes on the videos. I seriously do appreciate it. This year is going to be insane for zombies. So definitely, if you wanna see more Black Ops Cold War content, subscribe to the channel. We're getting close to 60,000 subscribers. So seriously, thank you guys. Shout out to the members as always. Let's get started here. I want to go through a bunch of different stuff, but first I'm going to go through this list, pretty much a rundown of a bunch of the important features coming to Black Ops Cold War Zombies. So we have cross play, cross gen, cross progression, battle pass progression, upgradable perks, gunsmith loadouts, weapon rarities, field upgrades, support weapons, optional exfil, intel tracking, free post-launch content. So a lot of that stuff there is pretty generic. I mean, we knew it was gonna be cross-play, cross-gen, that's sick. Cross-progression is just that whatever you do in multiplayer also levels up your weapons within zombies and campaign. So that's kind of cool as well. Battle pass progression. So what you do in zombies, going for high rounds, increases your level in the battle pass. And I'm assuming from the battle pass, we'll be getting different zombies gear, different zombies item as you go through the tiers in the Cold War battle pass. Now, here's something very interesting upgradable perks that's so cool how are we going to upgrade these perks i'm not so sure let's take a look here at the perks in this game and let's talk a little bit about perks first one here deadshot daiquiri i mean these perk machines are looking sick obviously we know we talked about this the perks are in cans not in bottles now and i think the vibe with a lot of these perks here is that they have the 80s infinite warfare zombies vibe but more of a treyarch touch to it i think it's a good mix between the two because the infinite warfare zombie perk machines kind of look sick and this definitely has that vibe elemental pop here is a new perk I'm not so sure what this does but it definitely looks like a really sick perk obviously you see the can as well here is juggernaut juggernaut is looking super cool in this game and i I like the theme i mean they have that 80 style perk machine type thing going but it still looks like the original juggernaut machine which is definitely really cool to see another shot here the original ray gun is also returning to the game it does make sense i mean they did talk about this in the gameplay trailer that a bunch of the old elements from the ether storyline will be returning craig houston said this game is taking place in the ether universe but it's a new story a new chapter in the ether universe and we'll go through a bunch of storyline stuff as well but he did emphasize that so we have to keep that in mind like a lot of the stuff here will relate back to the past storyline a bunch of different characters may return as well it's a new story he said it's a new story and we've been talking about this as well but it's cool to see a bunch of the little features coming back to the game now let's look at here a stealth ability potentially uh eric maynard actually tweeted about this i'll leave a link down below kind of looks like the character here is invisible in some sort of way and obviously in the second shot here you can see it has a different filter on the screen pretty much like the power up i'm pretty sure it was a gobble gum too back in bo3 zombies where the zombies would pretty much be distracted and couldn't see you for a certain period of time so it's just that in a different ability so that does make sense there he's also tweeting a bunch of stuff a jellyfish in the background i don't know what this jellyfish means for anything i don't know what this thing is if it's part of the easter egg if it's a boss but it's kind of interesting in the background there here's where the image is coming from as well again this shot here is really cool and it looks like we're in the nighttime here the map for the most part in the gameplay trailer does take place during the day but maybe we go from night to day day to night in this game as we play the map as we do different steps so definitely a really sick look here you can also see in the background we'll zoom in the pack-a-punch machine obviously the pack-a-punch machine kind of looks similar from the top and the bottom but the middle it's a whole new weird look here it definitely does look pretty sick and obviously we're going to input our weapon into this 
the leaks did tell us that we had to build the pack punch in some sort of way so maybe this pack punch we're looking at here isn't completely built but it definitely looks pretty cool a nice little upgrade to the pack punch machine while still looking like the original pack punch machine we've known and come to love and some more stuff here we have this weird weapon from the box is it some sort of jet gun type of thing I'm not so sure you can see here here's the person using it it definitely looks like what we saw from the jet gun in transit but it seems a lot more powerful. It doesn't have that weird sucking effect. Like, I mean, it shoots out this huge blue orb of energy. It looks really sick. So I'm guessing that's one of the main wonder weapons for the map. This is most likely going to be a map where a bunch of wonder weapons are present. I doubt they would show the only wonder weapon in the gameplay reveal trailer. So this definitely is one of them, or at least some sort of highly powerful weapon and upgrading this weapon pack punching it probably is insane as well, but there are probably a bunch of other secret hidden wonder weapons we don't exactly know about. Now, some more stuff here. I do want to talk about what some people were kind of on the edge about. So a bunch of the things where I was streaming and people were saying, well, I don't know about this. For one, you could start off with an AR. You can pretty much start off with any weapon you want. So it doesn't need to be a pistol. So I get why some people are on edge about that. It just isn't classic zombies to start off with an AR or pretty much any weapon in your class setup. But I guess you have to make the argument they do want to make it, you know, better for more casual players and they want different people to come in and do what they want. And obviously, if you want to play zombies the classic way, you could start off with a pistol. You could play it your own way and then that's that. So obviously, you could do whatever you want. These are all options. It's not like you're required to start off with an AR. Another thing here, you could actually use different score streaks, different kill streaks within zombies. A lot of people are saying in the trailer, they saw the attack helicopter come from above and shoot down on a bunch of different zombie hordes. Like, obviously, you don't need to do that, but I think it's pretty much the same thing as using a powerful gobble gum in Black Ops 3. Like, you use a powerful gobble gum, you kill a bunch of zombies. It's pretty much the same thing, but in the form of a kill streak. You use the attack helicopter for 30 seconds you kill a bunch of zombies you come down then it's over and you, if you don't want to use it you don't need to use it i think it's a pretty cool addition and i kind of like it it's cool they're changing things up and the things that they're changing are optional like the things that they're changing aren't too major so i'm glad that they're changing stuff that isn't really a big deal like they're not really changing any real core element of zombies they're keeping the classic zombies feel they're just changing a bunch of stuff around just to make things fresh and interesting another thing here with the optional x fill kind of like with ghosts it's different because it's not required with ghost extinction you pretty much complete extinction you have to exfil from the map to complete the game there are not unlimited rounds in extinction this time around obviously you could do the easter egg i don't know if the easter egg ends the game but you could do the easter egg do that end the game you can go for a high round and then die whenever you want or if you're just done playing zombies and you want to exfil what he said in the trailer is that the zombie rounds will get progressively harder it'll get really hard for like two or three more rounds and then you could get out of the map, escape the map, and kind of complete the map. And you'll probably get a little XP for that as well. So that's definitely a really cool thing. And again, it's optional. Why not? I mean, the other option is to just end the game. In the past, you would just end the game or you would kill yourself. Why not make things a bit more interesting, add this exfil, have like a mini mission at the end of the zombies game, and then you complete the game. And that's that. Like, that's actually a really cool addition. So I'm glad they have that there. That's really sick. And again, if you don't want to do it, you don't need to do it. Now let's talk a little bit about the story for zombies. Now this will be several videos in the making. I mean, there's a lot of stuff to talk about with the story. A lot of different things that could be happening this time around with the Black Ops Cold War zombie storyline. They go through a little bit as to what this game is all about. So let's talk about this here. Black Ops Cold War Zombies represents a new beginning with a fresh story and new ways to play set in the 1980s of the Cold War. It's an opportunity to elevate the entire zombies experience while paying homage to everything that made zombies so damn fun to begin with. Welcome to the first chapter in the Dark Ether story. Welcome to D Machina. So Dark Ether confirmed is the storyline here. D Machina is the name of the map. At the end of Black Ops 4, our heroes sacrificed themselves to collapse the multiverse. They hoped their actions would create a new world, one free from the forces of darkness that had plagued their existence. They were half right. You'll play as members of Requiem, a CIA-backed international response team led by Weaver. Under his guidance, your team is tasked with investigating and suppressing the unnatural phenomena occurring in the facility below, no matter the cost. Requiem features a diverse supporting cast drawn from the finest minds across various military and scientific fields. They, along with Weaver, will help advise players on their journey. 
All of the classic zombie elements are here. Round based survival, fan favorite perks, pack a punch, wall buys, mystery box. We're also upping the ante with new mechanics and features for everyone to enjoy. We went through the list here, and that's pretty much it the main stuff with the storyline. So, again, really sick here. I think the possibilities are endless with the Dark Ether. There is so much they could do with the Dark Ether. And now that it's completely confirmed, I mean, I can't wait to see, especially what the Easter egg is for this map and what the rest of the zombie storyline looks like for this year. Because we could be seeing so much insane stuff with the Dark Ether. I can't wait to get started with video ideas talking about the different possibilities. But for now, for this map, this is the beginning of the Dark Ether. They also talked about in the gameplay trailer, this Omega group, which is these Russian Soviets also interested in these zombies experiments and secrets found within the facility of D Machina. So we're fighting these guys. These guys will definitely play an interesting role in the zombie storyline while we're also fighting zombies as well. And while we're also trying to figure out what the hell the Dark Ether is doing, how is the Dark Ether impacting us, affecting us, there will be some sort of grand evil that we're fighting in the Dark Ether. We don't know exactly what that is just yet, but it's going to be a crazy chaotic storyline. But it's definitely cool to see that it's a new story in the same universe same kind of vibe here black ops one characters but a whole new element another thing here the actual main characters are different and you can actually use operators in these things i'm pretty sure in the trailer a bunch of people are talking about this you could see a bunch of different players in the actual game so i don't know if they're teasing at a multiplayer game mode like grief or they're pretty much saying like okay you know you could use operators in zombies and honestly i was talking about this in my video a couple of days ago i think that makes sense they want people to buy stuff in the store they want people to get new operator skins from the battle pass from the store and they want them to use these operators not only in multiplayer campaign but even in zombies so it, it makes complete sense as to why different operators would be usable in zombies and i think it's a cool thing I hope we can still pick to use our main characters. I guess if you don't select an operator to use, it will give you one of the main zombie characters. But if you want to use your operators, definitely is a cool option to have. And again, it is optional, so nothing is forced. And I definitely like that. A bunch of cool changes here, but nothing really is completely forced. So that's pretty much it for this video. We went through a bunch of the main stuff here for Black Ops Cold War Zombies. Again, there's a lot more stuff to talk about, especially with the Dark Ether, how Samantha is playing a role into this, what is going on with the storyline. There's so much stuff to go through here. But this was pretty much our first look at a bunch of the main features, a bunch of the main things to look at here for D-Machina, the first Zombies map for Black Ops Cold War Zombies. And we should be getting a bunch of more information very soon before the game actually comes out. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. It's greatly appreciated. Leave a comment below with zombies if you watched the whole video. Thank you guys. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.